What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I want to take a look at an NBA lightweight champion by the name of Salvador Ngati. His fighting name was Sammy Ngati. He had 131 wins, 23 losses, 22 knockouts, 8 draws. He was born January 17, 1915 in Washington, Pennsylvania. He died October 22, 1980 in Cleveland, Ohio. Now, he stood 5 foot 8 inches and weighed 126 to 147 pounds. He was managed by Charlie Jones. As a lightweight champion, he fought a fighter by the name of Jackie Wilson out of Pittsburgh, 1942-1943. He was supposed to fight a fighter by the name of Lenny Boom Boom Mancini, but they had to go to war. And Boom Boom Mancini never got his shot. But he would fight Lou Jenkins. Lou Jenkins would took the title away from Lou Ambers. He took the title away from Henry Armstrong. Who took the title away from Lou Ambers? Who took the title away from Barney Ross? And on and on and on. So that lightweight division were Hall of Famers going all the way back from the beginning of time. Sammy Anger defeated featherweight champion Freddie Miller. Phenomenal fighter was Freddie Miller. He would defeat Lou Ambers. Lou Ambers went back and forth with Henry Armstrong for the lightweight championship of the world. He would face featherweight champion Willie Peck. Matter of fact, Willie Peck was on a 62 fight win streak. And Sammy Angot would upset him. He would face welterweight champion Johnny Bratton. Johnny Bratton fought Kid Gabalon. When Sugar Ray Robinson would move up to face Jake Lamotta. He would face lightweight champion Lou Jenkins. Lou Jenkins would take the title away from Lou Ambers. And he would be in there with some of the most Hall of Fame fighters of his time. Sammy Angar would face Ike Williams out of Trenton, New Jersey. Outstanding lightweight champion was Ike Williams. Ike Williams four fighters such as Luther Slugger White, Bobby Poncho, Bobby Ruffin, Enrique Bellanos, Vic Cardell, Cleo Shane, Lester Felton, Johnny Bratton, Juan Zarita, Tippy Larkin. He would face Bob Montgomery and Bo Jack. That's what I can think of at the top of my head, but he was in there with some fighters. It was like Williams. He fought Juan Zarita. Juan Zarita fought Speedy Dino, Pete L Lilo, Audi Spaulding, Midget Wargas, Sammy Anger, Mike Belois, Richie Lemons. Henry Armstrong. These are all champions. He would face Wesley Ramsey. Wesley Ramsey would fight seven champions, such as Lou Jenkins. He was in there with Benny Bass, Ray Miller out of Chicago, Leo Roddick, Santiago Salero, Johnny Jaddick, who was a junior welterweight champion, Balin Shaw, who took the title away from Johnny Jaddick. Balin Shaw was an outstanding Mexican fighter. He would face Balin Gizzi. Tony Flacco, Del, uh, Leonard Del Gino, Coco K, who was a murderous well, colored welterweight champion, Sammy Angot. He was in there with Fitzy Zivit. Fitzy Zivit would upset Henry Armstrong in the 1940, October 4th, and he would take his welterweight championship crown away from him. Then defeat him again in 1941. He would face Freddie Red Cochran, who was a welterweight champion. Al Bombing Davis, Baby Slavin, Kid Azteca, Milt Aaron, Izzy Genazzo, Henry Armstrong, Ray Robinson, Jake Lamada, Sammy Angot, Eddie Booker, Lou Jenkins, Bobby Poncho, and Ruben Shank, just to name a few. So he was in there with Hall of Famers and World Champions. Now he would face NBA Featherweight Champion, Alberto Baby Aris Menzi. And he would fight fighters such as Mike Belois, Freddie Miller, Newsboy Brown, Tony Canzanelli, Henry Armstrong, Tommy Paul. Fascinating fighters. Was Albert Baby Aris Menzi. He was a Hall of Famer. One of the greatest Mexican fighters of all time. He was in there with featherweight champion P.D. Salmon, Hall of Famer. P.D. Salmon lost his featherweight championship strap to Henry Armstrong. In fact, he would give P.D. Salmon his last fight before he retired. I think 
Petey Sound had one more fight after Sammy Enga. But Sammy Enga was some fighter. He would retire fighters, upset their winning streaks. He was in there with Ali Salts, Bobby Ruffin, Tommy Spingal. Now, Enga was inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame in 1973 and the National Boxing Hall of Fame in 1998. 1937, he would face Johnny Hutchinson out of Louisville, Kentucky, and he would lose in eight rounds. June 3rd, Pete Lillo, Chicago, he would knock him out in five rounds. Everett Wrightmeyer, August 12th, Milwaukee, he would defeat him in ten rounds. Johnny Pena, October 18th, Chicago, he would defeat him in ten rounds. He had 16 fights in 1937. 1938, he would face him. Wesley Ramsey, fought him twice. Leo Rutter, three times. Freddie Miller, one time. Featherweight champion of the world. 1939, he would face Joey Ferrando. Aldi Spaulding. Aldi Spaulding was the only fighter that would go the distance. And 1938. 1937 with Henry Armstrong. That year, Henry Armstrong would have 27 fights, 26 knockouts. And Aldi Spaulding would be the only fighter that would go the distance with Henry Armstrong. Mill Allen. Davy Day fought him twice. July 17th, former featherweight champion, Petey Cerrone. Pittsburgh, he defeated him in 10 rounds. 1940, he would have nine fights. He would face Davy Day, 15 rounds. June 25th, Baby Harris Menzi. August 28th, Fritzy Zivit, losing him to 10 rounds. November 25th, Bob Montgomery defeated him in 10 rounds. Would have 10 fights in 1941, July 21st, Sugar Ray Robinson, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and he would lose to him in 10 rounds. December 19th, Lou Jenkins, lose to him in 10 rounds. He would have six fights. 1942, March 6th and July 7th, he would face Bob Montgomery, New York and Philadelphia, and he would defeat him in 12 rounds. What a phenomenal feat. He would face Aldi Schultz. Madison Square Garden, he would defeat him in 15 rounds. July 31st, Ray Robinson, Madison Square Garden, he would lose to him in 10 rounds, and that was a fascinating fight. September 28th, Aldi Spaulding, New Orleans, and he would defeat him in 10 rounds. November 13th, retired from the ring. But in 1943, he would announce his comeback. March 19th, Willie Pep, New York, defeat him in 10 rounds, and he would break a 62-fight winning streak. June 11th, Henry Armstrong, New York. He would lose to him in 10 rounds. He would fight for the NBA Lightweight Championship. October 27th, Luther Slugger White. Hollywood, and he would defeat him in 15 rounds. December 17th, Bobby Ruffin, Madison Square Garden. Defeat him in 15 rounds. 1944, he would face Bo Jack. Aaron Perry. Juan Zarita. He would lose to him. 1944, seven fights. Bo Jack, Aaron Perry, Juan Zarita again, Ike Williams. Philadelphia, he would fight him twice and would lose to him in 10 rounds, both times. Four fights, 1945. Gene Burton, Ike Williams, and Danny Kaplan fought him twice. Four twice in 1946. Ray Robinson lose to him in 10 rounds and Bo Jack lost to him by knockout. In seven rounds. Seven fights in 1947. Teddy Ray Top Davis and Johnny Bratton. He would face Johnny Riccio, John L. Davis, Kid Aztec, Sonny Boy West, Rob Zanetti, fascinating fighter, Sammy Agar.